Those vegan guys. Oh, thank you. Here, tell me what, it's bright, but it's cold. Hiya, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. <laughs> Together we are those, those vegan, vegan guys. guys. And this is vlog 52 of our allotment adventures. Season two, really, because this is our second year here. This time last year, we were building beds and getting rid of plastic and oh, stuff, weren't we? It were right palaver. So Jay's just said, apparently there's been a, a ground frost forecast for tonight. So if we turn over some of the beds that have got weeds in them, the ground frost should kill the weeds off, hopefully. It's worth a try. Uh, but we brought down all these seed trays so we've got these seed trays with the 12 compartments and then we bought um, we bought these for them to sit in and they fit two in perfectly uh, like you just saw uh, so we're going to be doing some seed planting here today but then we're going to be taking these back home aren't we yeah uh, Indeed. Uh, what? Uh, oh, I know. Well, you know us. This is what we do. You're going to be on. He's only talking because he wants to be on YouTube. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, recycled plastic. Um, we can use them year on year. Uh, the ones that we used last year, I think I mentioned in last week or the week before's allotment vlog, were kind of upcycled, but we're on the last legs. New. We can use them multiple years, we'll yeah. continue to use them. Um, these are gonna be perfect for what we need. We're gonna go through some of our seeds today uh, and have a bit of a sort out. We are, we're gonna work out what, what, what we're gonna plant, but we'd like um, six trays, each tray with 24 seedlings in, on our kitchen shelves at home, which are right near the back door so they get daylight all day. We've got a set facing garden, we're very lucky. Um, so yeah, hiya, welcome back, it's cold, but we've got stuff to do, so let's get on with it. Yeah. Hello. Oh, shit. <laughs> so what do you do, mister? Um, planting tomato seedlings ready to... I know this might seem silly to some, but we're, we're actually taking these back home once we've planted them because uh, they can't go outside yet, obviously. And uh, we're, we're even a bit nervous about the greenhouse because there's very probably still going to be a frost. As we said earlier, there's been one forecast tonight, did you say? Yeah, today? I think it's going to drop below zero tonight. Yeah, so we're going to do exactly the same as we did last year, which is plant our seedlings and put them on our kitchen shelf at home. We'll show you that later on. Um, so I've just put some compost in there and I'm just going to water uh, all these little pots before we plant a seed uh, but the aim today is to uh, we've got five different tomato seeds thank you so much to those of you that have sent us seeds some might say we have a plethora of seeds we have got a plethora of seeds and i'm dead excited about them so we've got five different tomato varieties this year i think we only had three last year jay i think you might be right um so we're going to label them up with these little you know the little white stick labels we're going to get some seeds in and then we're, we're going to get these trays home um, and on that shelf where they're going to get sunshine every day uh, and quite a lot of it as well we're, we're, we're very luckily placed with our back garden at home yeah um, right where are they right well let's uh yeah. Segway. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I love Dad's 
is like this. Really sunny, but still nice and cool. This is when we did some of our best work last year, didn't we, Jay? Yeah. I just thought I'd lay these out while I'm here. Okay. Uh, and then they're kind of ready, aren't they, for <coughs> we've popped down again tomorrow. It's Saturday today, by the way, when we're filming this. Uh, Saturday the 5th. I think so, yes, I think so. We need a little poker, don't we? Yeah, there's, there's loads in, there's, there's one on the shelf, like a small one. Paul's just doing that, I thought you might just like to say a very quick hello to Doris. There she is. Right, I want to put these in the greenhouse for the next set. Right, let's do it. Right, which one shall I go for first? Uh, money maker. Yeah. Do three money maker. Manage that, they fiddle in turn. Yeah. Little bit fiddly. Sometimes just have to run a bit more.
And then, we might as well fill the rest of this tray up with things we definitely know, we definitely have it this year. Courgettes. Yeah. So yeah. We'll get a few more bits sorted. Yeah, yeah. And get, yeah, you said, get us to end up. Well, that's our tomatoes planted, ready for taking home. Three seeds, courgette seeds, and there's three left in there for maybe for next year. And don't even dig with these, just push them in. Yeah. Don't even do an all. You, you can kind of see with them that they've got like they've got like a fat round bottom and then a pointy top where the um, where the plant comes out. <laughs> round bottom, pointy, slightly pointy top. I don't know why. I sometimes I just like to test whether Poly Panasonic can actually do. But she can't always. But I like to try. She don't, she don't know things. She don't know things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, can you write courgette then? Barbara. Yeah. Which one which one have I planted in? That one and that one. Remember this later in the year when we're eating courgettes, when we're pulling a courgette off the plot and cooking it right here. You watched them being planted. <laughs> right, we need, I don't want to take a part empty tray home, so what else uh, do you think? We could plant a couple of radishes. No, radishes no. are just better straight into the ground. Okay. Someone that establishes itself as an actual plant that you harvest from. Get me? I do. We'll have a little think about it and then we'll come back. Yes, yeah, let's do the kettle on. Yeah, shall we have our lunch? Yeah. We're having our lunch. Join us. So what variety have you got there that you've just found? Black Russian. Black Russian tomatoes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do uh, three of them as well. Just missed these completely and I was like, somebody has kindly sent them to us. It would be rude not to, besides they've shown the picture. That's right, that looks beautiful. That's why I was like, as soon as I saw these, I was like, they've got to go in. They've got to go in right now. Come on, come on, there you go, well done Polly. <laughs> and now, back to Paul, back to Paul, there we go. <laughs> I like it when she plays ball, it does help, it does okay. help. So, black room. so uh, six different types of tomato, amazing, that, that pleases me so greatly. on yeah and can we it's just Doris updated can we just say as well it's um, I'm sure some people will be like I'm not using anything with the name Russian in it right now it's not the Russian people's fault that they've got a moron uh, running the country they're as scared of him as we are yeah. many of them and you know what well done, because moron is actually a very, very delicate and quite polite definition for, for him. For saying it, uh, yeah, because yeah. he uh, really is psychotic autocrat. Yeah. Uh, here, anywhere, Black Russian. Lovely. There we go. So that's them. So we've just got three spaces left, promise. Right. Uh, Let's have a look. Let's what have a look else? And see. We're, oh, we need to order some. Um, squash seeds as well don't we because we said we we're going to use different varieties Sasha's 
messaged about a few and the first one he mentioned I looked for and couldn't find it. Sasha, I couldn't find it. <laughs> I messaged you on Instagram, I should have replied already by now. Um, but yeah, something else in these three. And then we've got a tray to take home, which is lovely. Put on the shelf. Jobs are good. Helianthus, giant single. Sunflowers. Remember we did the, the ones in the um, in the wildflower bed last year, but they were the dwarf ones. Well, I just thought I'll just grow three because we grew them first, yes, in the little seed pots. Did we? Yeah, and then transplanted them. Ah, so okay. There. Yeah. So, and this apparently contains a hundred seeds, and it says, "Great fun for children to grow." I'm a children. <laughs> Are you just putting one seed in each thing then? Yeah. yeah. I'm a children. Remember me? Sorry. If you've got a hundred seeds in there, I'd be tempted to put two in. If we're transplanting them out now. No. Okay. Okay. No, you shut your little mouth. Hey, come on now, on a day like today. On a wonderful day like today. I defy any cloud to appear in the sky. Dare any raindrop to drop in my eye. Bet you don't know that song, do you? No, I don't actually. You don't want to, do you? Eh, uh, you know. I'm not a verse. <laughs> no are pun you, intended. Are you a chorus? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job I couldn't see your face then. We're focusing on the important stuff the planting. Right, giant sunflowers. Done. Done. These, this tray is done. Fabulous. And we shall do many more trays. We might even come down tomorrow. Who knows? And do some. But um, that is what we're doing today. And now we're going to have a lovely lunch from our allotment shed larder, uh, which only has two items left. Flanny filled it up for us. <laughs> Remember? Yeah, yeah. We've got porridge and uh, curry. What, what we're having now. Yes. Fabulous. Sunflowers. For children. I'm a children. <laughs> Go on. It's time for naked Thai style green curry. You know why? It'd be rude not to. It's good timing. It's a bit chilly. Something nice and warm in belly. Yeah. We're filling up to the middle. There's three lines in these. Going up to the middle line. There we go. And then put our forks on to seal the lids for a good five minutes while they um, fragmatize, combobulate. Marvelous! Look at all these seeds. We've got so many seeds, man. Can you wear the uh, Can you wear the dairy merchant round the corner? So we've got golden syrup left in our pantry, and we've just added two of the soon veggie cups. We um, bought yesterday at Wing Yip, if you didn't see that vlog, I'll link it up there now, because it'll be fun. Well worth checking that one out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just leave right. them now. Okay. Well, whilst that's doing that, we'll... Uh, we'll I hear Wayne. I hear <laughs> oh, no, I'm ready to eat now. <laughs> <laughs> These are the old um, chilli plants, uh, which we got a little bit of a yield off. So we're just going to get them in the in like we've got this tin uh, bin here, which is like our pure compost. Um, it's just been old plant material and stuff, hasn't it, Jen? Yeah. Sorry, love. Sorry. But this uh, this compost is lovely and warm. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The, com the compost is, I mean, Jay. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. that's good. That's good, isn't it?
just sort of pulling out the main main root system and then putting the rest in there, yeah. Yeah, I'm grabbing the full thing. Yeah. Shaking off what I can into here. Right. And then all the rest going in there. Because these roots are alright as well to work. To become compost again. Just don't think we're going to fit much more in that bin, are we? Like this, no. Your big planter. So I think the rest. Although it don't match if it's piled up a little bit. No. no. It'll be it'll be it'll be getting used again really, really soon. One in there. Yeah. First one, Mister. Yeah, love. Spray that up and whack it in. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely having uh, warm soil on my hands. Lovely. There we go. See, that'll all compact down a bit. Yeah. Won't it? Yeah. And now it's quite full. Like that. Lovely. Right, let's have some bloody lunch. Oh yeah, they're a bit watery, aren't they? Yeah, it's like a soup. Like a Thai rice soup. Hey, I'm not, I don't mind that. Eat the rice, drink the soup, I'm all for it. Mm. Tasty though, isn't it? Rice is beautiful. Oh. Just missing a chunk of bread. <laughs> <laughs> it really is, isn't it? It'd be perfect. Um, I was saying to Paul before, when we started on Utopia at the, uh, the start of this vlog, we're turning the soil over and everything because we're expecting um, a, a bit of a ground frost tonight. I was so excited to get started and didn't kind of think for a second. Set off 0 to 60 in about three seconds. By the time we'd finished, I needed to take a rest. I was goosed. He still thinks he's 30. Just like I still think I'm 40. <laughs> I'm not 52. I need to remember I'm 52. What? Well, just remember that sometimes you can just take your time it's all fine it's fine to just plod along tick things off mm. bit at a time exactly never like pressure yourself because then it stops being fun yeah and it has to be fun it is fun mm. that's the thing about it is you know it's fun it's exciting it really isn't, and I, I have, I've learned so much this year. For example, I keep looking over at um, what was Salad Street last year. We don't know if it will be again this year. Um, at the purple sprouting broccoli plants, and they just take up too much room, as far as I'm concerned. I, I, I know it sounds well. No, it, however it sounds, this is how I feel. For how long it, they've taken to grow? <coughs> yeah and how long they still will take before we can actually harvest any anything off them and how much room they've taken up I'm like, nah I won't grow them again We talked as well, didn't we, about <coughs> with Salad Street with just growing salad stuff in general this year we're going to try and be a bit smarter in terms of staggering our planting just a couple of weeks apart so that we're not overwhelmed all at the same time now that sounds really obvious but last year we were so excited, we just chucked them in there, didn't we? And it all just came at once. So we're going to try and be a little bit, a little bit smarter this year, you know. Anyway, should we eat the rest of this mm. and uh, get a bit more done and then call it a day? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Get home and have a chilled rest of our Saturday. And uh, we'll possibly see you tomorrow. 
um, and uh, you will see where we've got this at all. Yeah. So I'll see you soon. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be Stuart, shut up, I'm filming my ants. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-six. I don't know if you can see them, but there are ants uh, in this. This is our compost pile um, at the back of the plot. We don't know if we're going to use it this year, but it's uh, it's just a load of stuff we dug up in it. Yeah, basically. You're right, Brummers. I'm fine. Yeah. Hello. It's Sunday now, and I've not come down here in allotment clothes. This is not my allotment jacket. No, at all. No. Uh, but we just popped down to kind of finish off this vlog. Really, I wanted to show you the compost pile, and we've come up with what we think might be a solution to our shelf problem so we've got these greenhouse shelves and they came with this like MDF board shelves our fault we didn't use water catchers yeah at first and so we kind of messed them up but we've got all these old pallets here so you've just had a measure mm -hmm. and they're long enough to make new shelves in slats so we think that's probably I think that's the route we're gonna go down we have a look online um, and it's quite obviously as many of you are probably aware it's quite difficult to buy specific measurements of you know things yeah, unless you go to a wood shop yeah like. and then you're paying you know so we, we're thinking we might just upcycle what we've got down here as Paul said uh, the optimum word is slats yes uh, we're gonna try and create slat shelving yeah um, so that's probably gonna be a project for next weekend or the weekend after now the seedlings that you saw us plant on were it Friday it was yesterday yesterday Mama. <laughs> the um, seedlings you saw us plant are now here, quick picture, uh, on the shelf at home and um, that's where we did loads of our seedlings last year didn't we yeah. just kind of and then we bring them down here when there's no risk of frost anymore put them in the greenhouse and then of course out into uh, out into the plot yeah so that's about it yeah quick catch up and then a closer on sunday it's another lovely day here We're live in, in just a couple of hours yes. making mini quiches and curry paste so uh yeah we're gonna get off definitely love you mister love you Mwah. love you guys thank you so so much for watching keeping up with our allotment adventures uh we'll see you next week we hope uh, but do check out our channel <coughs> and all the plethora of other vlogs that we create uh we'll see you again soon until then please be excellent to yourselves and each other Bye, loves. <laughs>